Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back to JB's RCs. Thanks for stopping by. We're out with the Rock Hobby Mash again. again. That's the 110 scale, 4x4 off road crawler that they came up with. A uh, little more of a trail truck, I guess. You can't really say crawler, trail truck. A great looking thing, man. I just, I usually edit my own videos and normally I'm cutting all sorts of stuff out. You know, unless the truck is right in the center of the thing and looking good, I try to you know, cut the random stuff out that you wouldn't want to see. Just wonder if it was in the screen at all, I pretty much kept it. It looks, it looks great. It's got a, a great look to it. They did a good job on that. Uh, interior is fantastic. Full detailed interior, the seats, They've got the buckets in the front and a bench seat in the rear, and they're all covered with this real soft rubbery material. Feels real. Uh, steering wheel turns when you turn the front tires. It's definitely set up to be a real scale truck. Uh, changing out to the leaf springs would probably be a big scale advantage as well, because these came with leaf springs uh, in real life stock. So I believe it says that these have a leaf spring version kit that you can buy that's uh, bolt-on basically for this chassis so that's kind of cool too but I can't say enough about this thing I really love the look of it I love these tires and uh, wheels on there they look really nice probably add a couple little things uh, definitely gonna change out some electronics and just kind of set up more of a trail truck so it's a little quick for me I want a little more uh, modulation in my throttle so I'm gonna put a different ESC and possible motor in there and then we're also gonna Maybe add a winch to the front. Just a little faux winch. I mean, it's gonna look real, but I don't think I'm gonna end up to actually winch anything. Because where I'm gonna mount it is kind of a plastic piece. The bumper itself you can't really mount on. It's quite thin, but there's a spacer between the bumper and the uh, front grill. It's a pretty good sized space. I believe I can just drill some bolts for that, put a plate on the bottom, some screws through the bolts, and uh, tighten it down real good. It'll look awesome on there, and it might actually work if I can plug it in. The ESC and uh, I'm sorry, the receiver and transmitter on this definitely had a, a four channel, five channel, two extra channels at least on there. Neither one is hooked into the light, so there's buttons on the remote for a third and a fourth channel that don't do anything as far as I can tell. So we'll uh, have to look into that as well. Maybe we'll get the winch actually working on there too, but I think that'll look good in the front of there. And kind of see it up. Other than that, I'm sure we'll run it without the cab a few times. The cab comes off, all the doors and the hood open, everything other than is all your electronics, the receiver, the ESC, the motor, the servo, and the battery all go up under the hood there. Uh, you'll definitely see the hood pops open a few times, it's one of the problems with it. Uh, so I'm definitely going to throw a magnet on there. It's still the first run that I had it out, and I haven't really done anything to it in this video besides change the wheels and tires. Uh, and it is running a 3S LiPo, of course, my usual 3S LiPo. But I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Thanks for stopping by. We'll have another video of this coming up shortly as well. Get some sand and some rocks. Have a great day and get out there and have some fun.